What's happening? On our way to go and get our uh, pants tailored because they're really long. I'm a short girl, so I gotta tailor pretty much everything. We're at Nike right now. Lee just got some shoes, got hooked up. Come on, babe. I needed them. My feet were hurting. Toe was hurting. Them bad shape. They had a good sale, so he grabbed two Air Max shoes. They're bomb. If you guys have foot problems, check them out. We're matching, except I have the pink and he's got the black and gray. Baby, you should try the pink and black. I'll do anything for you, babe. I love you. Just a little advice to all the fellas out there. Men, listen to your wives. They got you back. I got excited when I went into the shoe store. I love, 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 love tennis shoes, right? And I went in there and my main purpose was to go and get a shoe for work. And you know you get carried away, you start seeing fresh colors. And I'm a brother, I love bright stuff. So anyway, grabbed the shoe and Jenny was like, Lee, don't grab it, don't grab it. I'm like, babe, babe, the shoe is tight. So I'm talking to this guy and I'm ignoring my wife, which I shouldn't have done. Don't do it. Anyway, she walks off, I didn't get the hint. I grab the shoes anyway, I get to the register. She says, no. And I'm like, but babe, no. So I leave the shoes. Anyway, long story short, the reviews weren't that great. They tear too easy. It just wasn't a good shoe, and I should have listened, but I got caught up in the hype, so it's like going to a car dealership. You gotta go in there focused. You can't get overexcited like I did, and go in there with the right intentions. Not the wrong. And listen to your wife. Family, my wife was pissed at me. Man, I had to do a lot of apologizing. Had to suck it up. Tell her I love her. I'm sorry, you were right. I was wrong. It wasn't easy. Hey, you're making me nervous. Babe! My wife tries so crazy. I feel like I'm a, you know what. Hi, Bubba. How was school? Good. Good or great? Great. Great? Yeah. Somebody's That's sleepy, awesome. babe. I know. He's walking like, I don't know. Like Dad, I ate little slouchy chicken. there. I'm ready to go home and go to sleep. Bubba's, let's go find you a hat. With the guitar. Let me see, honey. <gasps> this is it all the way right? No, babe, please don't do right? this to me. Right? Now I know how he feels when he's at the makeup store. I'm ready to see? go. See? See? She doesn't let me chop comfortably. Chop? Chop it chop, up, babe. Chop, chop, chop it up. Checking out some new caps. I like this one. It's a wrap. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. I'm feeling really crappy. I feel good. I love my cat. What are you gonna get from Bubba's? Bubba's, you see a hat you can get? Oh, uh, yeah, what? What are you gonna go with? I don't know, we'll see. What do you say? You like it? Yeah. Is it good? You sure? Yeah. Alright. What's up with that laugh, babe? <laughs> 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 Baby. Bubba's wants to go fishing. Fishing. Throw them in there, baby. Okay. Woohoo! Hi. Oh my goodness. You are fishing like a pro. Tricky, huh? Catch that fish. There. Go. Oh, close. Oh man. <laughs> this fish. That's how they really are, babe. They're stubborn. No, man. Yeah, just hold him, baby. Hold him and get him. <laughs> Don't fall in. One to hold it. Yep, good job. <laughs> You're so cute, mamas. Those fish aren't easy to catch. Yeah, fishing takes patience, and I don't have very much of it. <laughs> If you need to go fishing with Bubba's and catch real fish. I'm ready. Fish, I'm ready. Let's do it. And then I can cook them up. Now that is a technique I could do. Babe, you got to try it too. I think you'll be a very good fisher. Fisherwoman.
Good job, Bubba's. Good job. Bubba's, if you fall in, Daddy's gonna laugh. <laughs> Are you having fun? I like your cap. Really nice. Got fish. Got another one out. Family, my wife made me a margarita. Let me show you. Margarita time. Woohoo! I'm gonna enjoy it and go fishing with my son, and then we're gonna watch a series, right, babe? We'd be screaming, but it's late, and we have conservative neighbors. I'll scream. Ah! I don't care. I get ghetto up in this piece. <laughs> Today I went to Hobby Lobby and I purchased some little crystals here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in on my mixer and make it look glamorous. I'm going to hang out with Bubba's and watch him play his game. Enjoy him. Hi. Wow. Damn girl, you just went with it. So far so good, right? Wow. Damn, girl, you just went with it. So far, so good, right? And it's not going to damage it because, you know, it's just a sticky. It's not going to have any residue or anything. My wife, she a girly girl. You know, it's already nice. She's like, no, nah, babe, I got to glam it out. I'm like, what do you mean glam it out? She goes to what? Hobby Lobby? Yeah, it was Hobby First Lobby. First time I ever been to Hobby Lobby. I had to go to the car family. Like, she was in there forever. I was like, listen, when you get ready to check out, you call me and I'll come in. But I'm gonna wait in the car and listen to music. Good job, babe. Thank you. You're welcome. And I am finished. From the front, you could see very subtle rhinestones. If you come to the side, you can see some more. And then the back as well. But just very subtle, nothing too dramatic.